I'm going to show you how I put a pair of snow skis on a slow V. This is, of course, the slow V without the wings. have a little modification on the front. I like to put the uh, lightweight wire between the wheels and attach that to a loop up to a rubber band on the front and that gives you a little bit of a spring action when you land like a shock absorber. Saves the wheels bending out and anybody that's flown one of these knows what I'm talking about. Um, I made some skis out of basswood and I cut these out, uh, put them in a steamer, steam them for about 45 minutes and then put them in a little press I made and put it in a vise for a few days and when they uh, dry out real well they hold the shape real nice and I put them on a, an original slow V uh, landing gear with a couple little wire adapters made from a couple of the uh, spring clips that hold a ceiling fan grill on uh, an exhaust fan for a bathroom. Have the same light gauge wire on with a clip to go to the rubber band and I've made a little bit smaller version of that same ski uh, attached to uh, the original tail skid for the slow V and I'll show you how those go on, how, how easy they are. Take the rubber band on the front, unsnap that, slide the original wheel landing gear out, Take the skis and they go right back in that same slot. I like to fasten these once I get the position with a little uh, nylon cable tie. It uh, works a lot better than that rubber band that comes with the plane. You just have to clip it off and put a new one on each time that you, you uh, take these on and off, but no big deal. Resecure the, uh, the rubber band to the clip. That restores your, your shock absorber action for when you sit down. And then on the back, on the tail skid, take the original skid wire out and we put the new ski right back in that same slot and there's your slow V with the ski system on it for the front and the back. One other little modification that uh, I think is necessary is the original six cell nickel metal halide uh, 600 milliamp hour battery that comes with it weighs uh, 83 grams and to lighten this up a little bit I added a, uh, a two cell lipo in 1100 milliamp hour. Hyperion makes a nice uh, lightweight changeover for that. This weighs 65 grams. And uh, when I put the, uh, the lipo in, in addition to the rubber band, I like to secure that with one of these Velcro ties around the battery and that just works a lot better uh, particularly on a on the landing you don't have the rubber band let go on that uh, on that battery the difference in the weight with the lipo replacing the original battery and the added weight of the skis is a plus 11 grams for the uh, flying weight of this airplane and I've uh, experimented with this with an 18 gram spy cam on the front end and it didn't even know it was there. So I think it'll probably handle this weight uh, fine. I'm not sure about the aerodynamics, but as, as slow as this thing flies and big as the wings are, I doubt that it'll have a lot of effect on it. But uh, looking out the window, we got a little bit of snow coming down. This will be our first snow of the season here in Denver area. And I'm looking forward maybe tomorrow to get this out actually in uh, take it off and land it on the snow. And we'll do another video uh, uh, to show how that uh, uh, was working. Uh, hopefully, how it is working, and, and uh, not uh, not show you that it's not working. Happy flying!